It's 550,000. I'm not even sure what this is. This is Gucci. There's a lot of copy stuff going on inside here, guys. A lot of fake stuff. Only girls? There are flies everywhere. What's going on? He's trying to swat the flies away. Look at my head, guys. I'm gonna guarantee you that most of this stuff here is gonna be fake. This is real Adidas? No, no Adidas. Okay, so this is not Adidas. And they all look real. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. This is not Ray-Ban. This is Ray-Dan. All right, guys, what is going on? I'm here at Riverside on the bank of the Mekong River. You can't see it from here. It's about, I want to say like a seven, eight minute walk from where I'm standing right now. It's in the distance. It's about seven o'clock, half past six in the night right now, in the evening. And the place is buzzing. I went to a rave recently, uh, Laos celebrated its new year. And there was a huge rave, Riverside. And it was just over there. That was about three or four videos back. Go and check it out. What I want to do tonight is I want to show you guys what the Vientiane night market looks like, which is a famous market in Laos. It runs alongside the river for about a mile and a half, apparently. I'm going to take a walk through there and I'm going to show you guys what the market has to offer. I don't think I could get down here. Oh, I barely made it. So this is the entrance to the night market. You got your phone accessories, women's clothing, pajamas. You got some men's clothing. That looks like unisex. I don't know what that is. Belts, phones, bags. I need to get one of these. I need to get a fanny pack. How much are these, my friend? 550. 550? It's 550,000. I'm not even sure what this is. This is Gucci. This is copy stuff, right? There's a lot of copy stuff going on inside here, guys. A lot of fake stuff. What is it? Is it real? Is it Gucci, yeah? There's no Gucci. Uh, I just want to see what it looks like. But uh, this looks pretty good. This is 550,000. Uh, you, can, you can hold on to this, yeah. And five yeah 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 <laughs> yeah he's trying to show me that it's a uh, good quality i guess 500 yeah just thank you thank you 550,000 is about um five multiplied by five is 25 you're looking at close to 30 bucks so it's not cheap if it was a real gucci then it would be a lot more expensive i'm guessing i'm not a big brands fanatic like a lot of people are. I don't really give a shit what I wear. Just give me a t-shirt, a pair of shorts, and I'm good. They got some shades here. I need a pair of shades as well. Women's shades. Sexy girl. Hello, how are you? What are you selling? You got your cool gangster stuff here. If you're a rocker, and you're into like the Grim Reaper type stuff, you can come here and get you a cannabis medallion. As you're finishing touch to the skull shirt. That's not my style. Not anymore. Hello, what do you have? Oh, women's clothing? Only women's? Only girls? <laughs> okay. Let's continue to walk up here and see what's going on. How much? Look out there. How much for your t-shirts? This one. This one, yeah. 70. 70,000? Oh, really? That's 70,000. That's like four bucks. And it seems like a really good, uh, like good quality. You can tell it's just like thick cotton. Life has changed, growth is optional, choose wisely. That kid is selling t-shirts and he probably doesn't know what the uh, writing on the t-shirt means. There's a lot of evil stuff going on here. It's a little bit scary. A lot of flies on this light. It's 
some more shades. I need a pair of shades. There flies everywhere. What's going on? You seen that? It's a fly fest. Let me ask this guy. <laughs> He's, ah, it's okay. It's okay. You can't do anything about it. He's trying to swat the flies away. How much are the shades, my friend? How much? Look at my head, guys. <laughs> I saw two girls looking inside here. They wanted to come in and then one of them pointed at the flies and the other one said, let's get out of here. Let's check this out. There's 175,000 for this. I'm not sure about that big marking on the side, on the arm, on the left arm of the uh, sunglasses. There's this big marking. But the shades fit really nicely. It's 175, which means that it's like close to um, maybe about 10 bucks. It's not bad, it fits really good. I'm not too sure about this ledge up here. You see this ledge? But I like them. I'm gonna walk up a little further and then I'm gonna come back down. I'm probably gonna buy this, you know. I just need a pair of shades. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot more shade shops up here. Like it's a mile long, so I'm not gonna be running out of uh, shade shops. How about you, my friend? Yeah. And here's another one. <laughs> Uh, they're pretty cheap, aren't they? Uh, this, so. this is the place to be. Yeah, yeah. You can get it cheaper somewhere else. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. But, but you know, for, for tourists, it's like, of course, I pay more. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's, not a, it's, it's not a problem. It's still cheap for us, yes. kind of. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, do you recommend? Is this your first time coming to the market? To the market in yeah. Laos? Yeah. Yes, for Laos, yes. Oh, okay, okay. I wanted to know if it'll be okay if it's proper etiquette to bargain. You think I should bargain? Yeah. Everything is you negotiable, should. yeah? You should, yeah. Everything. Yeah. Even when there are fixed prices outside. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everything. yeah, you gotta negotiate. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, cool. Knowing for is the same. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, my friend. Good luck with that. Hey, man. Did Take you, care. You're filming for YouTube? Yes, I am, yeah. Uh, what's your name? It's called Trini Explorer. How much is this one here? 215? Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. That guy that I just met, he said that everything's negotiable. I mean, I already knew that, but it's always good to get a second opinion before you start making a fool of yourself in a place that you haven't been to before. So I need to get a fanny pack and a pair of shades. This place closes at like half past 10, according to that guy that I went to for the first pair of shades. You've got a lot of ornaments going on here. So as I mentioned to you before, there's a lot of uh, fake goods going on here and I can guarantee you, I'm gonna go inside here. Is that okay, my friend? I go, yeah? I'm gonna guarantee you that most of this stuff here is gonna be fake. Um, let me show you. That's Adidas. And they all look real. But then when you get the price, the price is like 10 bucks or 15 bucks or something like that. So let's ask this guy what the prices are. How much is it? How much? 180. 180. 180. It's not Nike, you know? Is it real? Is it a copy? Uh, Vietnam. Vietnam? Yeah. This is Vietnam. So no, no Nike, you know? I need Nike. I need... This is Nike? I need Nike Vietnam. I need Nike. Nike Vietnam? Nike. So this is all real. <laughs> this is real Adidas? No, no Adidas. This, I mean, this is not Adidas. I mean, not, not Adidas. This is not A Adidas. 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 Okay, so this is not Adidas. How much is it? Okay. 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 280,000 280,000 yeah. 280, for the three, fakes 360 360 This is 360 Yeah And this is real Adidas Adidas, yeah Yeah, but I don't see any tabs Usually there's a tab here, but I don't see it Adidas usually has the Adidas sign at the back of the shoe Am I right in saying that? Okay, that's great, thank you very much so he was asking for 250 for the fakes and then 360 for the real ones. 
I don't see how that makes much sense. The 250 is about tw is about uh, 20 bucks, and then he just adds six onto that for the real one. That's not that doesn't sound right at all. I actually tried on a pair of uh, fake Nikes a few days ago and they looked absolutely real. They looked as real as the ones I just picked up. He said that those are Vietnamese Nikes. They cost like 20 bucks. I could probably get like a pair of Nikes like that in Western Europe for 20 bucks. But you can never tell. You have to look really hard. I don't, I'm not sure how to differentiate it. The only way to differentiate it for me is if you try it on and you walk around in it, uh, you feel like you're walking on the ground. There's no cushioning. You can feel every pebble through the sole of the shoe. You can tell off the bat straight away that it's not real. But uh, by looking at it, sometimes you can't tell. But then when they drop the price on you, you're like, there's no way that this Nike or Adidas could be that price because the price is way too low and you could probably beat them down even more. Anyway, let's walk on a little bit and see what's going on. More shoes. This is Shoe Central here. You got your New Yorkies. You got your Bostons. Some kiddies clothes. You got your Messi's, Ronaldo's and all that stuff. Been tin. You got your Rolex and your Casios and your Quartz. It's probably Polex and Guaps. No, it's not Quartz. You'll probably get your Casios there. It doesn't matter if a Casio is fake or real. It's still shit. I don't really wear watches, so I wouldn't know. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Say hi. <laughs> you got your kitties looking at YouTube. Hello. The lights got a little bit dimmer since I moved into this central part of the market. I'm not even sure if I'm central. It just feels like I'm central. Everything is pretty much clothes, shades, bags, fanny packs, and a little bit of negligee. Oh, this is not for me, my friend. Don't worry. Thank you. A little bit of lingerie for the wife or the girlfriend to keep the relationship a little more exciting. You got your wallets here. It seems like leather wallets. If you guys want a wallet, how much does the wallet cost? Uh, how much? 150. 150? Okay, thank you. 150,000. Seven, eight bucks? Yeah. And you could probably get it down to like six bucks. You never know what you're getting inside here, so you have to be careful. You kind of want to beat them down, like negotiate a little bit, bargain a little bit, because that's a way of life here. Hello. But at the same time, if they're giving you good stuff, you don't want to like kill them too much. Everybody has to make a living somehow, but Trini Explorer needs to save money to travel for as long as he can. Get your slippers, hot sale going on. They're all mixed up. Just grab one, everything's 20,000. Wow, this place is busy. Everybody wants their flip flops. Nobody wears shoes over here. Everybody's got on flip flops if you look down, look. Look here. The only people who have got on shoes are the tourists, but I know better than that. I'm a bonafide Laotian because I've been here for a very, very long time. 30 days. There's a little playground back here for the tired kids. The parents pulling their kids through the market. They need to stop and get some playtime. But I'm going to continue. Uh, we meet again. Happy to see you. Did you find sunglasses? I didn't find any. I, look, here's the thing. The first place I met you at, I should have got something there because I liked it there. Yeah. yeah. But that's what that always happens, you know what I mean? Absolutely. It's like, yeah, I'll come back. Yeah. And then I've walked up here like half an hour later Absolutely. and I'm like, shit, I should have gotten those sheets. Yeah. But they close at half past 10, something like that. Oh, so really? it should be fine. Yeah, oh. yeah. 
yeah, yeah. we have time, man. Yeah, we have some time. Yeah, that's that was our last words. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. How fast ten is gonna come? You're not gonna have anything. You're gonna go home and yeah. you're gonna be I'm pissed also off. Also, continue my search for an ashtray for my brother. It's like a tradition of every country. I bring in an ashtray. Ashtray. Yeah. Oh, what do you mean, like a like a Laotian ashtray? Like ashtray a... with Lao on it. No, the it's flag. just an ashtray. <laughs> just a bad ashtray, like really dirty ashtray. So, but this is the first night market in the whole Asia, no ashtrays. Really, and really? I walked what, are you away. what are you talking about? You don't have to buy an ashtray. You just go to a pub, buy a drink and steal the ashtray. That is a good point. Okay, mate, have a good ticket. There's some Audis here. Hello, how are you? I'm just looking. Oh, I like these. She's giving me bigger ones. These ones are too small. I can feel the arms stretching out. Like they're gonna break because my head's so big. But the bigger ones have bigger lenses and that's what I'm trying to get away from. What do you guys think? West side? I don't think so. How much are these? How much? <laughs> sorry, sorry. She doesn't want to be on camera. The girls hate the cameras. It's 175, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna film you, don't worry. 175,000, okay. I didn't even bargain with her and she's gone to 160 already, okay. She's gone to 160, I didn't bargain yet. Should I bargain? No, I feel bad. So that's what I'm talking about, guys. This is not Ray-Ban, this is Ray-Dan. So these are not the authentic Ray-Bans, but um, 160,000, it's not bad. So I just cut a deal with the girl and the girl is gonna give me a pair of Ray-Pans. The last one was Ray-Dan. I'm gonna get the Ray-Pans instead because I like that style a little better and it's also cheaper. The Ray-Dans are 160,000 kip and the Ray-Pans <laughs> are 70,000. It started off at 80,000 and now she's giving me for 70,000. So that's done and dusted. I got a pair, a brand new pair of Ray Pans for 70,000 kip, which is about four bucks. Let's see how long they last. That's gonna be my little YouTube experiment. I'm gonna be wearing these from now on. I think that's gonna be it for me for the night market tour in Vientiane. As cool as ice. Look at that. Who said you have to pay an arm and a leg to look as cool as me right now? 